we now have two Tuesday games. Tuesday, the NFL going up on a Tuesday. What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Samo with the Spizzards. I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're over here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel that you love so much. Shout out to everyone who's bought me coffee so far and recently. Really appreciate you guys. And the second link is to shop the official Smell with the Spizzorts, a merch collection, get you the classic tea. The wavy tea that I've been rocking lately, or the Jalen Make It Hurts tea. Also, guys, turn your notification bells on right now so you don't miss another video. And every time I drop a video, you will be notified. So, y'all, let's get into it's a lot of G going on all the leagues, y'all. NBA, NFL, when it comes to COVID because of the Omicron or Omicron variant. So this variant that they're saying, um, when I say they, the CDC is saying spreads, I think they said seven times faster than the other uh, variant before, which was Delta variant. So this thing moving around fast and it's moving around quickly around these NFL and NBA teams. It seems like every five minutes, I'm getting an update, whether it's Woj or whether it's Adam Schefter saying someone new is in COVID protocols. So right now, it's been a ton of NFL games that have been rescheduled so as of right now the next eight out of the ten days will have an nfl game being played because of rescheduling and that sounds exciting oh you know nfl more spread out more games spread out you know wednesday tuesday saturday we're in a drought on fridays of nfl action but it's not ideal for a lot of teams including the philadelphia eagles so let's first talk about this new schedule so saturday was supposed to be a double header, but now it is just the New England Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts, which will be still be a great matchup if you know no more spreading goes on. If those, if that game continues to be played, that will be a great game, y'all. Um, a Patriots team that's trending upwards and a Colts team. Sunday, um, our Sunday night game is still New Orleans Saints at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The four o'clock games are Green Bay at Baltimore, Falcons at 49ers. Um, and Bengals at Broncos. Monday night was supposed is now a double header. Monday night is now a double header. Where, 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 where? Sound the freaking alarms. We got a double header on Monday. So at 5 p.m., just when you guys are getting off work, all my nine to fives, right when you're getting off, it is now a game. Las Vegas Raiders versus Cleveland Browns. Another AFC showdown that will be at 5 p.m. Like I said. Go ahead and leave work at 4.30, 4.15 if you live in a highly trafficked area. Right after that game, Vikings at Bears. I feel like the Bears is always in prime time. Like, take them dusty, busted Bears off. Anyways, they're at 8.15. Now, the biggest news, in my opinion, we now have two Tuesday games. Tuesday? The NFL going up. On a Tuesday, and it's going to feature the Seattle Seahawks at the Rams at 7 p.m. And you got to pick your poison, guys, because both these games are at 7. You can't watch both. But the Washington football team Philadelphia Eagles game has tentatively been moved to 7 p.m. on Tuesday. And, y'all, this freaking sucks for us if you're an Eagles fan because, first of all, I'm not – the way this – it's some people on Twitter like, oh, Washington was um, lazy. Um, Washington was being risky or whatever. Because you guys know Washington, the variant has been running rapid through Washington. And I don't think that it's necessarily Washington that was being negligent. Because it's Omicron. Anybody could have, it could happen to any team. It just so happened it happened to the team that we were facing. Washington football team, y'all, they only have 41 out of 53 active they only have 41 active players earlier today um it was reported from one of the washington beat reporters that washington only had 41 active players so the eagles this is a big game for us washington and and ourselves we're both trying to gun for a wild card spot we played washington twice 
We played Washington Giants, then Washington again, and we really needed to come in and get this win against Washington. Now, of course, it would have been much easier to beat Washington if we played them on Sunday when they were when they were without so many men. But I mean, it wouldn't have been a sweet victory, y'all, if we beat up on Washington when they were already down and they stood no chance. So let's go in. Hopefully Washington can recoup some of their players and it's a fair match because that's how you want to win at the end of the day. You don't get any bragging rights if you beat up on a sorry team or you beat up on a team that's ravaged with injuries or in this case COVID. So let's go in and beat Washington how we're supposed to beat them fair and square. Now it is annoying that now we play on Tuesday when we have the Giants on Sunday. We're going to have such a short turnaround. Usually the, the shortest turnaround is Monday night football to Sunday night football. Now we play on Tuesday, and then we got to play again on Sunday. That's really, really, really not fair. But what's fair in the world? The world is not freaking fair. So, I mean, what are we going to do? <laughs> Bang our heads against the wall and complain to the football gods? We don't get ye, especially when money's in the way. Because a lot of people were bringing up the fact that before the season started, the NFL did say that any team that cannot play because of COVID will be forfeited. They already said that in the beginning of the of the season. So why is Washington not forfeited? Why is the game rescheduled and now rescheduled into their favor? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? You know why? Because money. They want butts and seats. They want eyes streaming the game. So they're not canceling that. That's canceling money. And you know how the world turns. So guys, that's our updated schedule. Just my quick reaction. I mean, dang, bang, bang. But we got Tuesday, y'all. I'm just mad I'm not watching the Eagles on Sunday. Tuesday, I'm supposed to be on the road, y'all, going home. So now I'm like, dang, I got to get home before 7 o'clock. But y'all, I don't even know. Are these games going to be on TV? They like, because y'all know I don't live in the Eagles market. So is it just going to be on local TV? Will I be able to watch it on, um, is it going to be like nationally streamed or is it just going to be locally? Y'all let me know if y'all know. I don't know GE about GE right now. So make sure you like this video. Oh, also big news, big update. Jalen Hurts was um, full participant in practice today, which is huge. So Jalen Hurts was limited in practice yesterday, but he was a full participant today. And if anything, in good news wise, this gives Jalen more time to heal and rest up for the Washington football team. In bad news, more time means more people can test positive in my mind. So I'm just like, fingers crossed. I don't even know. Like this Omicron thing is just wild, stupid, crazy. Like the way it can spread. I'm like, are we even going to have the game on Tuesday? Like it's so many... NCAA games getting shut down, NBA games getting shut down. These teams are just, everybody got Omicron. They're out there sweating up under each other. It's a 53-man roster, unmasked, you know, Omicron gonna feast on them, you know what I'm saying? But like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe, keep rocking with me. Um, check out my links down below, and until I talk to you guys next time, bye!